on the road. Look at that. Look how rad that thing looks. safari time again I've been hustling like crazy to get mom's spaghetti ready for this trip and uh, I was getting it ready so I could trailer it but my trailer decided it was done the uh, wheel bearing smoked on that thing the axle was wasted and I didn't have time to deal with it so loaded up everything in old mom's spaghetti and we're driving it to Moab Utah Here's a really rad shot of Lake Coeur d'Alene, which means I have like 700 miles to go until I get to my lap. It's going to be fine. On the road. Look at that. Look how rad that thing looks. I am right at the Montana, if you look at this, the overpass over there, I'm right at the uh, Montana border. The truck is doing good and I'm cruising along like 61 miles an hour, but whatever, I'm making miles. This thing is awesome. I'm super stoked. All right, I gotta make some more miles tonight. Can't keep screwing around. I'm running out of daylight, so I guess we'll pick up with you guys in the morning. Ah, I made it to Montana. Well, I made it to the middle of Montana last night um, I am at the Sportsman Lodge again outside of Melrose or in Melrose, Montana. This is a rad little place that I stopped at on my way to the SEMA show this year. Pretty cool. So it's time to get out of here though. It's 10 o'clock in the morning and I got a lot of miles to go and a deadline I got to meet. Um, we got kind of a cool stop we got to make along the way. All right, let's load this thing back up. Hit the road. Ooh, the belt squeal wasn't too bad today. It's a good truck. Uh-oh. That's not good. Why did it stop running? Hmm. That was a first. Maybe it's just cold. Time to hit the road. I guess we'll find out if that stall was a problem or not. I think now is as good a time as any, I guess I was already in fifth gear, to explain why this thing is mom's spaghetti. I don't know if I've explained it or not, but basically it's just lyrics to Eminem, Lose Yourself. And uh, when I built this rig, I claimed how good a 90s F1 or F350 would be. Small block, fuel injected, ZF5 transmission, Kingpin Dana 60 front. Um, the only like downsides to these trucks, in my opinion, is that you could only get them in long wheelbases and they had a chain driven transfer case. So you end up with like a very inexpensive truck that has really good parts and uh, you don't really have to change much on them. So. I had always been talking smack about how good this truck was going to be and if you listen to the lyrics and lose yourself or if you've watched 8 Mile you know that Eminem was supposed to be or Rabbit was supposed to be the greatest thing since sliced bread and then he came out and he choked so that's why this truck is called Mom Spaghetti it had to come out and it had to perform and it couldn't choke that's what it's all about and it's doing it. It's doing it just fine. Rolling. I am cruising 
I'm really doing about 61, 62 miles an hour, and we're making miles. We might not be the fastest thing on the road, but we've got the sparkliest steering wheel, for sure. Cruising along, I just left the cabin probably 10 minutes ago, and we have like a major belt squeal going on. I'm gonna have to pull over and uh, see what's happening with that before it becomes a real issue. Ah, dang it. I got, I got places to be. I think I'll pull over up here after this little sign and guardrail. It looks safe enough. I hope it's just a belt and not like a pulley coming apart. What do we got? What do we got? Belt's on there and it's running, true. It's on all the drives. I think what we have is just a little bit of a misalignment issue. Let me go ahead and bust out one of my tricks. Hang on. All right, I grabbed my overnight bag and I have a bar of soap in here. Let's see if I get some soap on the belt. If it kind of lubricates it enough. So I'm just putting soap on the back side of the belt right now. And More squeak. Here we go. If you lube up the belt and the noise goes away, then you know it's a problem with the belt or misalignment issue. If it doesn't go away, then it's typically a pulley or something or a pump going bad. So I think we're good. The belt's actually still in good shape. It's just, it's just kind of going away. All right, put my soap back in my overnight bag and we can hit the road. Scratch third, we're out of here. I've been to this O'Reilly a handful of times. I think last time I was here, I was actually buying Freon or whatever. I was getting stuff to recharge my uh, AC and my Suzuki because it was hot and it was cheap and there's no sales tax in Montana. So if you ever need to buy expensive car parts on the road, just go to Montana, piece of cake. All right, let's go ahead and roll in here and see if they've got a belt for me.
If I don't get the drive shaft balanced today, I don't get it balanced today. We'll figure it out as we go. It looks like we're just about here to Tom Woods. I see a sign. Ah, that's a familiar sign. Where is the drive shaft shop? That's a nice little complex. Uh, and maybe I'll just drive around the back. I got to Tom Woods, I'm out back. I'm gonna pull the drive shaft out and they're gonna go ahead and spin it up and see if it's balanced or not. See if it's balanced, see if it has any worn out parts. See what's, what's going on, if anything. The behind the scenes of Tom Woods' drive shaft. It's pretty rad. I'm at Tom Woods drive shaft. These are the guys who have been building the shafts for all my like domestic vehicles. We just went through and balanced out the drive shaft for the back of Mom's spaghetti. I'm gonna go dig out my tools so that I can put this thing back together and let the the guys here close up for the day. I had borrowed tools to pull the drive shaft out, so I might be here a minute. Well, sweet. Thanks so much, dude. Yep. Good luck with that ZJ. That's a cool rig. Yeah. Thanks for your help, man. Yep. All right, one hour. That, that wasn't too bad. One hour to get the drive shaft pulled out, rebalanced it, replaced uh, front half of a double carton, and put it back in. We're peeling out. Let's go gas this thing up one more time and get through uh, Salt Lake. I'm going to be sitting in traffic a bunch. It's like 5.30 on a Wednesday right now. No, you can't tell really, but we're rolling into Moab right now. The old spaghetti machine made it. This is rad. That's Arches National Park over there on the left. Looks way better during the day. All right, I gotta go find my hotel. This is kind of ironic that I'm parking next to this thing. This is a Jeep JK that I turned into a pickup about 12 years ago. All right, first morning in Moab, it's time to go four-wheeling. We're doing a Falcon AT4W tire launch event today. So it's all about trying out these new tires and seeing what they're, what they're good at. This should be fun. I think this one's us. This one us? This is the party, party mo mobile. Pretty pretty. Dang. All right, we're out here at Poison Spider Mesa and it is time to air these things down a little bit and see how it does. Some of these rigs are running the RTs this is the same tire that I got on Mom's Spaghetti. And then the new tire is the, oh, that's an RT as well. The new tire is this AT4W, which is what's on the rig that we're, we're in. Similar, similar to the uh, AT3W, which I've had on some stuff, but these are a few new revisions to them. A little bit more sidewall tread, a little tighter blocking on the regular tread blocks, but similar design. So we're gonna air them all down and go run Poison Spider Mesa. Oh man, there's GoPros all over the side of this car. Is there? Great. Yeah. <laughs> no pressure. Oh uh, yeah, this is cool. I didn't think this thing could do this. What? It's a Rubicon. Uh, well, I mean, okay, so it's, it's the, the tires. <laughs> it's I know, this is nothing to you guys. This is, I've never done this, even anything remotely close to this before, so. Good. That was cool. I didn't think we could, like, I didn't think we could go up that, that steepness, but. Man, this is cool. All right, so we're on Poison Spider Mesa and we're bringing a little bit of JDM <laughs> out, bit. out here to Moab. <laughs> we're in this uh, 
it's like a brand new JL Wrangler and it's got lockers it's got sway bar disconnects and buttons and all kinds of stuff but we're not letting him use the lockers yet no cheating you got to save that for later we got it's just like the same settings as, as your your all mom's all right this is our rig coming up so these are the he's on the at4s these are these are the new freshies that we're out here to check out They're looking good. They're flexing and doing their job. Looking good. Maybe I need a Jeep. <laughs> that is true, huh? Third hand day. I love it, dude. Stay. Tagged in a bunch of videos of people seeing that truck running around. Yeah. That's yeah, awesome. Had that for like 30 years. It looks good. Yeah. I like your Ranger. Yeah, I got. I brought this because I got accused of being cheating all the time. There you go. So this I brought my small rig. This one's definitely not yeah. cheating. Yeah. I dig it, dude. <laughs> well, if you hit me up anytime, social media or whatever, yeah, yeah. and uh, yeah, you're welcome to come up. We'll yeah. go run some oh, trails. Yeah, we we like to bash it and snow wheeling. <laughs> That's we where it's at. For it. All right, we didn't yeah. get much this year. No, all we right. didn't. We'll see you. I come to Utah and Washington follows me. Hey. <laughs> we'll see you. Peace out. This is a pretty good ledge. I remember coming out here and fighting with this in my little YJ on 31s years ago, just burning the tires until it got up it. Here's our rig on the all terrains. This is his first time wheeling, so I'm sure he's tripping out right now. Nice. Lifting a tire a little bit. Good work. It's pretty wild, like how capable these new Jeeps are. They're all just basically Rubicon packages maybe with a little budget boost and 37s on them and they're just dominating out here like i came up here years ago in a yj on 31s and i remember just absolutely having to wail on it to get it up this this waterfall obstacle thing here no more you just get to drive right up it in your stock rig i like that green to me, it's like Kawasaki green, but got a little more yellow in it. Basically, just need to walk around and look at Jeep colors to see what color I want to paint my mini truck. No. Maybe. Maybe. No. Oh, this is a cool little wedge V-notch thing. Pretty cool. Just walking it. Gotta get all the footage I can get. The rest of the week I'm gonna be driving, it'll be hard to get anything. It's wild how well these rigs are working. They just are walking these obstacles like it's nothing. I think it's partly due to the Jeeps working so well nowadays, but also all these new tires are actually like, even if they're not super aggressive looking, they work really well compared to stuff of the past. This is the uh, the Jeep truck thing. Again, that's that one that, it's actually a really cool rig. It started out as a four-door JK and it's on the off-road evolution like double throw down kit. So it's got coilovers and bypasses and all the good stuff. Pretty rad that it's still out there. Seems like it just follows me around the country. It's like everywhere I go, I end up seeing that Jeep truck thing. Try and get some decent angles here. It's like everything in Moab is like steep and sort of sketchy, but it really doesn't ever look like it on camera. Peace out. Oh yeah, that's my ride. I keep forgetting we're in the green one. All right, I gotta go jump in my ride. Um, we're gonna head back into town. 
Thanks Falcon for having me out for the AT4W tire reveal. I'm gonna be out here all week like ripping around in mom's spaghetti with those new uh, Falcons as well. So we'll find out if they're good, bad or indifferent. I'm sure they'll be good. Um, if you are in Moab this week, make sure you come over to the best top kickoff party for Easter Jeep Safari week. It's gonna be Monday, I think 4.30. It starts Monday, uh, March 25th. And we're gonna be hanging out downtown in the uh, parking lot, basically behind the food trucks, downtown Moab. So cruise on out. If you're in town, come say hi to Fred Williams and I will be out there uh, hanging out and we'll have our rigs with us. Thanks for watching this Dirt Head Shed. Uh, I gotta get back to town.